New safety concerns for South by Southwest have authorities advising folks to keep your eyes open and know where your stuff is. It's a simple reminder, but it only takes a second for someone to ruin your festival. KXA and investigator Kevin Schwaller takes a closer look at how so many people increases crime with the crowds. It gets really crazy. It's like a, a really good, really good crowd. It's a good, like everybody wants to listen to good music and party and yeah, and hang out. Even with good tunes and good crowds, not everybody has good intentions. We're very aware of what's going on around us. We have to be in order to keep ourselves safe. Members of the Austin band in Bank have to watch the money and sometimes the street. We've, there's been fights. Uh, in the crowd in front of us, so we've witnessed fights. As the music turns up for South by Southwest, typically crime goes up too. A KXAN analysis of monthly APD reports shows last March saw roughly 50% more violent crime and property crime downtown compared to the monthly average. That includes nearly 290 cases of theft downtown and 19 aggravated assaults. Police records show an officer arrested a man for unlawfully carrying a loaded handgun here on the 200 block of East 6th Street. They say an employee of a bar accused the man of pulling the gun on him. Band member Luke Cox says he believes an increase in crime is only natural when you have more people. I don't think that the festival is bringing in any more crime really like per capita. Still, they'll keep their eyes open as they play to the ears of the crowd. Kevin Schwaller, KXN Investigates. Today we took an in-depth look at crime numbers and found both property crimes and violent crimes did go up last March in the downtown area, but not citywide. And here's a look at the overall crime trends in Austin from 2014 to 2015. Citywide property crimes and violent crimes both saw drops, but downtown, while property crimes went down over the same time period, violent crimes climbed to more than 9%. Continuing our in-depth look at your safety with the music part of South By heating up now, Short-term rentals will likely be packed this weekend. Security experts say it's just as important to prepare your rentals, and they say there are new ways to do that to give you a little extra peace of mind. One example, this digital door lock. What you can do is program in a temporary code, and this gives your short-term renter a uh, ability to enter your house, and once they are gone, you can simply wipe the code from its memory. Other ideas on buttoning up your home, make sure your short-term rental service rates, potential renters, and of course, make sure your valuables are all locked up or taken out of your house.